Hello, mate. Hello, mate. The league is ours. <laughs> Fam, so let's celebrate, man. Nah, man, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Gotcha, bitch. We still got a long way to go. But here what? For us, this game was a big game, man. A very big game. We've got a lot of history with Greenwich FC from the Bromley days. And it's mad car, the dressing room, the morale has changed, man. Like everything's positive. And the one thing I can say is that the boys are rowing and ready to go. Ready to take the lead. So for us, it's now or never. Every single game counts. I vow now never to fail again. In the league so far, we're fourth with eight wins, one draw and one loss, which is not bad at all. So this week we take on Crockin Hill. Can we get another win in the bag? Let's hope and pray, man. Let us pray. I agree in the club, God, you granted the children supernatural strength and ability of fight. dive into this episode i want to give a special shout out to our main sponsor exono exono provides recruitment services for the hospitality business support and tech industries whether you need staffing assistance or regular cleaning and maintenance they exist to provide personalized and responsive services to help your business succeed so whether you need to hire or you're looking for a job as a chef kitchen porter housekeeper, sales and HR admin, office manager, IT support, UI UX designer, or software developer, Exorno is your best choice. Get in touch today. Another episode and another match day where the AMG ballers take on Crockenhill FC. Welcome to Crockenhill, located in Kent, England, and home to over 2,000 people. Where we at? Farm. Farmland. <laughs> Farmland. Yeah. Crockin' Hill. So where's the change room? Huh? <laughs> it's warning. <laughs> Look at this dungeon. Oh hell no! Yes, yes. What's cracking? Look at this dungeon, man. Yes, boys. Yes. What's going on? What's going on, brother? Wait, Wake the fuck up, my boy. The man them are inside. That doesn't look like a bando. <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah. I'm trying to throw. It's yeah. mad, isn't it? <laughs> Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Mossy man, can he find his goal? Oh, it's a beautiful opportunity there. Longman has got it. Broski, it's there for the taking. <laughs> This is the seating area. <laughs> We're really in the the dungeon makeshift uh, stand. Come and see you. Hey, I've never seen a stand with a bin. And talk us off the pitch. Hey, yeah, I'm rapping. What's going on? Where you been, my brother? Yeah. All right, say nothing. Remember you're saying this, you know, it's on cam. What's going on, man? Yeah. <laughs> Looking fresh to death. What do you mean by that? This is our number one. What's good, my boy? Good, 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 good start to the weekend. Good start to the weekend, man. Football is football. Football, football is, is nothing. Listen, Saturday listen. Nothing about football. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, my bro. Do you know what's crazy? These guys, they've changed up their whole team. You understand what I'm saying? So they've made some good progress. I've heard, you know, they've had two wins back to back. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. we know them for losing every game. It's from the bottom. When, you, when, you're, when you're at the bottom, there's only one way up, isn't it? When 100%. You're at the top, there's only one way down. So it's for us to maintain the level we want to be at. Exactly. To make sure we don't fall below par. And it's for them to up their level to reach where we need to be at. Factually, factually. Because if I'm being real with you, to come here, this ghost town, and to take it out, 
Nah, nah, nah. I'll cry. Well, of course, yeah, of course. Talent, I think you, you always get talented players in the team, but the work effort and work rate will always, over 90 minutes, will overshadow any, any individual player. So 100%. It's down for us to not just show individuals how they watch as a team. 100%, man. So today, what's your verdict, man? You know what? I'm feeling confident, you know? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to go 4 0. Not one, not two. Ooh. 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna rush Hattie today. Wee, 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 wee. We started off on the right. What's going on, guys? Where are we at, man? Crockin' Hill, Crockin' Hill. <laughs> Hill, the trenches. The trenches. The trenches. So I was telling I was saying I was having a conversation with Carl and I was telling him that this team, it seems like they leveled up, they got new management, they got new players. Um their last two games they won. So yeah man, what, what were you guys gonna bring to the game today, man? You know you know you can't underestimate the underdogs. So but it's gonna be a win regardless, but we can't take it for granted, you know. Speak to that manager that put two wins in a row. So we just gotta play our game and score first, score early in the first half, mm. and we'll put the game to like two in the first half. Game's over. Lovely. So what's your verdict for today? Five 0 Five 0 Okay. Wills. Yeah. Any goals? Are they? Any of those goals coming from you? At least hundred, hundred, hundred. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Let's make it happen today. Yeah. Say no more. Let's look who the hell is back. The magician. <laughs> Hold up. Let him Hey, hey, listen. I don't think you understand yet that we're happy to see you back, man. What happened? Obviously, I had a few things to sort out. Mm. Family stuff. And then um, I was meant to be coming back. And I broke my toe. Fuck, you know. But now I'm back, man. And obviously, I think I'm going to be on the bench, but all need is three points. That's it, that's it, man. Listen, I can't even wait for you to really just get in. Because, brother, listen, the flames are coming from you. I can see that. <laughs> Talk to us, man. What's your expectations for today, man? I still expect us to win, but I can imagine they're going to make it difficult for us. I think I always tell the boys that every game in this league, we have to earn. This is just going to be an extension of that. The good thing is we're starting to get players back. Croc and Hill, they've levelled up. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, they're definitely going to make it very difficult for us today. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I think one of the, the, the biggest issues that we have sometimes is we get demoralised too easily. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how, how have you tried to sort of, you know, work around that? It starts with training. It's mm. about making training a competition. Um, it's a mental thing. And I believe, you know, my background from the sports I've played, I believe it's important that we get the mental right. Coming from a sport playing American football, this is much in the mind as it is with their physical and technical talent that we have. They've got to get their mind right. So, you know, with the introduction of things like um, a video review and, you know, calling players out when they've made a mistake, they've got to get tougher. And uh, I don't shy away from that. And I know some of the team don't shy away from telling players that we've got to be better. So, um, it starts, it starts with that training, 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 training. I can't stress it enough. Um, if you have the opportunity to come out and watch a training session one day, or, yeah. uh, you need to see, see how intense it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm describe my training session. They're going to try and make our lives difficult like they did in the last game. But that's still no excuse. I believe in the quality we have in this team, and we really should be winning this game. Um, today, so starting to line up here is Carl and Dolph. Right back DV, centre backs are Dylan and Brian. Left back Timmy. Midfield three is Paul Jordan and Teddy. And the front three today, Rush, Manny through the middle, and OT on the right. Yeah? Guys, go out there and prove why others you tip you deserve to start. We have to get this job done. Yeah? So we can rotate and we can, everybody can get games and get minutes. Yeah? We have to win this game. That's what I'm talking about. Bounce back from a from a horrible defeat. We won solid last week. Today we go again. 
we've got a tough month coming up, but we start off with these boys. You can only beat what's in front of you. As we say, games in hand only count if you win them. Mm. You know what's at stake now, yeah. the title. Yeah. Where's no top four, no top two, we're going for the title. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All or nothing. Mm. We're leaving all out on the pitch. Mm. We've got a strong bench. If you're tired, just let the manager know you come off. Mm. Boys, we fight for each other, yeah? yeah? I don't need to say too much, we know what to do. This shit means something to me, man. Yeah. Uh, all in. Yeah. Come on, boys. Come on, AMG. Mm. AMG, I'm free. Mm. Uno, dos. AMG, <laughs> Back like we never left. Once again, this is your guy, Taff. OG Taff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Back again. Another game. Uh, Crock and Hill versus AMG. We away today, away days. Man, one thing I'm gonna say is Croc and Hill have leveled up, man. Just like what we've been saying a lot throughout the episode, man. These guys have gone back to the drawing board and really, really tried to, yeah, man, shape up their team again, man. Um, obviously, after losing multiple games, um, you know, they just, <laughs> they said enough is enough. So, yeah, man, leveled up big time. Leveled up big time. You know, coming here to, you know, this dungeon. <laughs> nah, joking. But yeah, man. Obviously, for them, um, you know, this this was one of those games that, you know, leaving with a draw is a great result. <laughs> Literally, is a great result for them. Um, whereas for us, you know, every single game counts. Obviously, being out of every cup is very important. That. Yeah, man, we, we win every single game so that we have the league on smash. Um, big boy goal, you know, started off well. Um, you know, we were in control of the game, you know, doing our thing. You know, passes were stringing along nicely. Um, you know, everybody was on it, rolling and ready to go. Um, yeah, man, good goal to start off with. But um, yeah, man, things started to spice up a bit. These guys were giving us a lot of problems from start to finish um, you know they had and, and and that's the thing you can never underestimate the underdogs you know the underdogs are them guys they're always ready to give you a game like they you know when you know you're an underdog you put everything in it you know this is the top versus the bottom um, you know the bottom always want to prove a point especially with these guys being that obviously they've really shaped up their team you know, new players, new management, in, in fact. So they've they've gone in, they've really gone in. I mean, you know, we definitely respect them for that. I feel like in this half, we gave them too much respect, but cool, we got the goal, 1-0 AMG. The fact that they've been able to play out far too many times, it's not, it's not good enough. It, it shows that our press is not together. And then the midfield need to pick up the midfielders. Far too many times I've seen midfielders getting in um, against us. They're playing similar to us, with DM and two eights in front of them. Especially on throw ons they're sending one of their midfielders to overload. So the midfielder has to pick that up. One midfielder has to pick that up. One midfielder sits, so we always protect the middle of the pitch. We're not doing that well enough um, at the moment. We need to communicate more and we need to track back quicker. The, the, they have one way of playing it's straight to their striker who wins, wins his header and then they play off that and then they try to get their wingers isolated 1v1 against our fullback we need to be smart in how we're playing this is not a team this is not a pitch where we can particularly dribble too well or pass the ball like we want to so we have to be a little bit more direct we have to play like, like similar to how we played last week be direct go to the striker first go to a midfielder miss that first pass hit the person then we play off it. Exactly what we worked on in training. I don't do things in training for the sake of it. And that all depends on the third person movement. If we go from a centre back to a striker, then a midfielder's got to move so we can do the same again and play. And that all starts with how we communicate with each other. We are lucky. They play, they, they, honestly, they play better than us that are. We are lucky not to be losing this game. Or at least drawing this half. It's just that we're the better team and we've been more clinical with the few chances we've had. This game, this second half, we have to win it. This is what I mean. You have to earn the games that you come here to play. It's not a great pitch, cool, whatever. They're bottom of the league, cool, what? Second half, second half, second half. 
there weren't really much going on in the second half. Definitely started off strong. Um, I think one of the things that we noticed and, you know, one of the things that we even spoke about in half time is the fact that obviously these guys, <sighs> their spirits are lifted. You know, seeing that in the first half, obviously we only scored one goal, but they gave us a great half. Um, so for them, that you know, they had confidence. They started getting into the game um, and through that confidence, they brought it to the second half and they pretty much <laughs> really dominated this half. You know, it was a lot of them, a lot of them um, and less of us, a lot of them in you know, a sense that they were attacking a lot more, um, you know, yeah, attacking a lot more, man. They really wanted it more. Um, you know, we were trying our best here and there, but it was one of those, um, look at this goal, for example, great goal. Like, and this was through just simply bad defending. Please, how do you men do it? How don't you end up with a heart attack? Because when this match was going on, I was in class, yeah? And I say, ah, let me look at the result. I scored one, I say, yes, 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 yes. Now, so we can't get a break. And I say, let me use the restroom. I check again, one, one. I say, yeah! One, one, where, ha, ha, ha. I felt like it was, you know, when they say them, them away days against Stoke, you know, the weather weren't the greatest. Um, they, 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 like I said before, they had a point to prove. So for them, it was like they came with all guns blazing, and it's no excuse for us because the bottom line is that, yeah, like every game counts. Like I said, so really and truly, in this game, um, you know, we should have, yeah, left no prisoners. It should have been a game that we deaded from early, um, but it, we just couldn't find our feet in the second half. Um, and we, we kind of got caught up in this same type of position all over and all over and all over again. So it's like we didn't learn from the mistakes that we were making. So which was pretty much like, yeah, like our downfall in this whole game and just, just literally our approach to the game. I think at this point, our morale went down and we weren't really able to pick ourselves up, you know. Um, but that's definitely something that we've discussed and something that we need to work on. And yeah, man, you draw in 1-1 to Crock and Hill for us. It, it, it definitely uh, like no no offense to Crockett Hill, it's an embarrassment, but um, yeah, we move, we move, we move. I don't know, maybe we think it's our right to turn up each and every week and just win a game, but uh, because we've had a good training session and you can turn up on a Saturday and the team will like just bend down and let you fuck them in the arse, basically. It's not gonna work like that, it really isn't gonna work like that, and I'm getting too pissed off with our lackadaisical approach to games. Each and every week we're having the same conversation. Turn up with the right mentality to play. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being too nice to you guys. Maybe I'm being far too nice. Maybe if some of you sit on the bench or sit at home for a few more weeks, you'll start to get your shit together. Oh. There are people that don't make it into the squad week in, week out, that are messaging me gaffer why. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. They're celebrating like they won the game. For me, this is a loss. This is bullshit result. And it's a, it's about how we turned up to the game. People coming late, I hate it. People, we're, we're taking warm up. So you go away with a sweat and we're like, shit. I can't get to work. That's how it should be every Saturday. Maybe you're happy turning up and just going through the motions because that's what it feels like we've been doing for the last few weeks. I would have thought the 5-1 the, the beating would have woke you up. We're going into a tough run of games and we're now losing players, key players in, in positions that we can't afford to lose. If your teammate tells you something on the pitch, it's not for his own health and safety, please. It's to help the team. It's to help the team. We're seeing two, three v two at the back Bro, from a corner. We're gonna get smoked. How many times they keep the keeper's got a good kick? The pitch is wonky. Like, use your brains, guys. I keep telling you, I can only tell you how I want you to play on the pitch. It's up to you to go out there and execute. And for the last few weeks, we haven't been just because we've got what three one two one. We're, we're winning two one three one against bottom of the league, and you're proud, and we're walking away like we're happy. When there was a lot of competition and the guys decided they wanted to fight. Now we're very comfortable, we're near the top of the league. You think you can see the, the trophy already. They've got nothing to fight for. That's why they came and played the way they played. 
You have the league to fight for, something to win. And we're playing like the way we're playing. Yeah, as you can see, man. Manager wasn't too happy with that performance. Yeah, it wasn't a loss. But, you know, drawing 1-1 one -one to Crock and Hill, we're better than that. We're better than that. And we know we are. We know we're better than that. You know, um, like I said, man, they, they dominated. They dominated and they deserved the draw. If you could hear in the background, they were celebrating. They were celebrating because, like I said at the beginning, this is what they wanted. They they didn't mind leaving with a draw. Whereas for us, yeah, like we expected more of ourselves and we just couldn't get the result. But yeah, like I said, at least it's not a loss. We still got a point. And as it stands, we're, we're still in the title race, man. We're still in the title race. Today was our 11th game. As you can see on the table, we're fourth. We've won eight. We've drawn two now because of this game. And we've lost one. So we're pretty much doing the best in the league so far. And we've got a lot of games in hand too. So like I said, man, every game counts from here. We're still in the title race. So... We really, really, really need to shape up. We need to go back to the drawing board. And yeah, man, just not not, pretty, not go back to the drawing board, but we just need to make sure that we're prepared for these type of games. You know, yeah, man. So it's preparation time. Like I said, still a lot of games to the end of the season. So yeah, man, we really need to make sure that we're prepared for every game that comes. Every single game. There's no excuses. This is AMG, man. We can do it. So yeah. Level up time.